Hi everyone, it's The English Simmer here, and this video is to help those of you who are suffering with broken custom content within The Sims 4. So we're gonna focus on how to delete custom content, my best ways of going about it, what the easiest methods are to find broken custom content, and then how to actually get rid of it forever within your game files. Also, just as a PSA, before messing around with anything that contains Sims 4 files, you can copy and paste this Sims 4 folder. It's in Documents, Electronic, Art. Copy it, paste it over to your desktop. The best thing to do is copy it to an external hard drive. Just so you know, you always have a backup of your mods folder and your tray folder and your saves. Those are the three most important things that you need to back up. Now, both of these are third party programs that you have to download onto your PC. This first method works really, really well if you already know kind of what custom content you want to delete and want to bulk delete within your game. We're going to be using Game Time Dev's Sims 4 Mod Manager. Basically, you download the Mod Manager, you install it, and then it will link up with your Sims folder and your mods folder and show you everything that you have within your game. So this is my overview. I don't personally use like a lot of build and buy mode content. So a lot of this is going to be focused on create a sim. However, this does work the same way for build and buy mode stuff and also just like general mods. You can use these drop downs. These are all the folders that I have in my create a sim. And what the really nice thing about this is it shows all the thumbnails. So if you know it, there's items within here that you really don't use all that often, or you just know it that you're never gonna touch again, you can basically just pick and choose. And then you can go up here and you can select, delete selected files. For example, I definitely know that there are some adult female tops within my game that I personally am never ever gonna touch. So I can just browse through. I know I'm never really gonna use this this one again. And then once you've selected everything that you want to delete, just hit delete selected files. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, absolutely. It goes ahead and deletes them, not only from this program, but actually from within your mods folder that you have linked to this program. Not everything has a thumbnail, which is unfortunate. I think there are ways there you go. Some CC creators add thumbnails to their CC, which the mod manager can display directly. CCs do not require thumbnails. You can start the game, open create a sim with any of your sims, scroll through different categories. In doing so, missing thumbnails will be generated and saved in local cache. When you have scrolled through all categories, you can then close the game. Open the settings in the mod manager, verify that you have set the game folder document correctly, then click on analyze under analyze thumbnail cache. So if you wanna generate your own thumbnails, that's the way to go about it. The next method is actually to get rid of custom content when you know it's broken. If you're seeing a lot of red and white skin with question marks all over it, that means you have broken custom content in your game for whatever reason it may be, but you don't actually know what that piece of custom content is called and you can't really recognize it. For that, you're actually gonna want the Sims 4 tray importer. Once again, download this file, install it onto your PC, and then you're actually gonna want to load into your game. You're gonna want a Sim who doesn't have any piece of custom content on them whatsoever. So make sure you go through every single out fit every single category. I just like having like a fully empty sim. And then you just simply browse through your catalog. Some of your thumbnails might actually be broken. So I can tell that this CC is absolutely not working. I'm gonna put that on her first outfit. Then I'm gonna stay in this category and I'm gonna try and find some other pieces that are broken. This also can work just by like clicking on everything. Sometimes the thumbnails do work, but the actual piece of custom content doesn't work. So whilst this one is more time consuming, it's definitely a very, very thorough way. This skirt is a really good example because as you can see, the thumbnail still seems to be working. It still looks like that's going to be fine within my game. But as you can tell from my sim, she's not looking too hot. Looking like an Xbox with the red eye of death. So I've gone through my bottoms, my full body outfits, and also my top. 
tops, I found seven pieces of broken custom content. This one was just a fix for this goth kit hoodie, but it was officially fixed within the game. So I don't actually need this. So you can just do this for like outdated custom content that you're not really feeling anymore as well. Don't think that you only have to do this for broken custom content, but once you've got everything saved onto your sim, you can go to your gallery. I'm gonna call her Delete 2. That I know that she's different from my base master Lee, who was just the sim that had nothing on. We're gonna save that household to my library and then you can exit out of the game. Open up Sims Tray Importer and this is what you should be greeted with. And then as you can see, we've got delete to, she is saved in my tray files in my library within my Sims 4 folders. We can open her up and then we can go to custom content. As you can see, there's definitely some errors occurring. If you right click on the CC, then you can go show containing folder. This brings up my mods folder and then the, the category that it's actually under in my mod organization. As you can see, the name matches up and then I can easily just hit delete on my keyboard. I could right click and delete. That will be removed from my game and that broken bit of content will no longer appear. You can do this for every single item. Like I said, this one takes a little bit longer because it's finding that broken CC that might not look broken or that you might not recognize just from the thumbnail. I would say do this maybe like once every six months. If you notice townies spawning with those question marks, this is a good way to get rid of that broken custom content. You can also just hop into create a sim. If you turn on cas.full edit mode, shift click on the townie that has broken custom content, head into create a sim with them, save them to your library. And then once again, open up Sims 4 tray importer. And then you could probably find the error on the custom content. Just beware that they might have more than one piece of custom content. So you don't want to delete the ones that aren't broken. You can also just double click on these if you want to, if that makes it easier than right clicking. Just to show you that it has all fully been deleted, we can add that sim back into our create a sim. Items removed, they may not be installed on your PC. And you can see that in the categories one, two, three, and four, the custom content has now gone. It's no longer appearing in here. It's been deleted. So there you have it. That's how to easily delete custom content in The Sims 4. If that's all you were here for, then you're welcome. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments down below. If you just need anything further explaining, give me a heads up and I will try and help out as much as I can. But I really quickly wanna talk about some other very, very helpful things when it comes to Sims 4 Mod Manager. If you want to know more, if you want to start organizing your mods folder, what I mean when I say that is you can see that these are all of my categories that I have within Create a Sim. So I have all my accessories, I have all of my clothes options. And when I download new custom content, ignore these ones over here. Don't worry, we're going to get to them in this portion of the video. I basically drag them from my downloads folder into the category so that it's just a little bit easier for me to know where everything belongs. I cannot take credit for this. One of my Twitch mods actually did this for me and I love her for it dearly. But if we go to folders over here on Sims Mod Manager, you can see all of the folders that I have within my mods. You can actually choose to add a new folder. Let's say if I wanted to download maybe some traits, I could go mod traits and then I could hit add. And there you go, mods trait is now available. It is a uh, folder. But if then I bring up my actual mods folder that is attached to my Sims 4, it is listed as a brand new uh, folder, which also means that you can organize very, very easily. The reason I had been putting off all of these going into their home categories was because I didn't actually know if it pertained to like a masculine or a feminine hairstyle. However, with this and all of the thumbnails, nails, I can just hit the ones that I know are feminine. I can go to this little icon up here, which is move selected files. From the drop down, I can find hair, female hairs, move files, 
and they'll instantly move over. I can do that for any category that I have. It makes it so much easier for custom content organization. Honestly, this app is a godsend. I'm so glad that this exists and I now have it on my PC. When you select something, you can also activate selected files, which means that it will show up within your game. You can choose to deactivate selected files. So that is if you don't want it to show in your game, but you actually don't want it to be deleted fully from your mods folder, you can just deactivate certain pieces of custom content. You can copy those files to an external folder. We've spoken about deleting and you can just clear your selection. So if you would excuse me, I am going to spend the next few hours going through all of my uncategorized custom content and sorting it into folders. Elena is going to be very, very happy with me. There's also different tags. Obviously, like I said, a lot of these are to do with creator sim, but you can select it to build by mode if you know you have a lot of build by mode stuff. Again, this does come up with thumbnails. You have your regular mods in here. So if something's not working, you can disable it to like test your game. Super, super easy to keep on top of not having broken custom content and mods. Not only can you like organize your mods folder with this and easily delete things, but if you go to tools, there is actually a duplicate file remover. It offers several tools that can help you find and sort out duplicate files. So uh, let's open. I uh, fortunately have already run this, but it will come up with all the duplicate files that is found within your mods folder and you can just auto delete them all. I probably had about like 15 pieces of duplicate content because sometimes I'll just go, I'll forget I've like downloaded a hairstyle and then I'll just add it back to uh, my folder. You can also hit import over here and that will open up your folders. And then if you're anything like me, when you download custom content, it just saves to your downloads folder. Obviously that can be different depending on what you've set it on, but a lot of mine is here. And then you can just choose the recent CC that you've downloaded from your folder. And then you can open it up and import that CC and mods. Now, obviously I already have all of these in my mods folder. So it has found a potential duplicate file. So we're gonna skip file and delete for all of these, but it also just means that you don't manually have to like drag and drop everything into all the folders that you have in your mods file. You can just do it all through here and then sort them out using the sort tool that I've already mentioned. Try and tell me uh, this isn't one of the best integrations for mods you have ever seen because this is gonna help me so much. I hope this video uh, was helpful. Uh, like I said, if you do have any questions about anything that I may have spoken about, definitely leave them in the comments below. I will try and help out as much as possible. I obviously can't troubleshoot like mods or issues going on with your game right now. I mean, I can try my best, but I'm definitely not the person to come to for that. I hope you're feeling a little more confident about how to actually delete broken custom content and find that broken custom content within your game. I'm gonna link both of these down below. Absolutely two incredible programs that will help you just keep on top of things when it comes to mods. Big thank you to the creators. We have Luniverse Sims to thank for the tray importer. And then of course we do have Game Time Dev to thank for the Sims 4 mod manager. Have fun cleaning up your mods and custom content. I wish you all luck on this journey. If you have as much as me, I feel like you're gonna need it. Thank you all so much for being here and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.